Welcome to the Soft Vikings, a quest for meaning, purpose, and the two L's, loyalty and love. Yeah, it looks like we landed on both of them. Yeah. I'm John, the lost son. And I'm Eric, uh, the tyrant. Yeah. Still keeping the position. I think you will... Uh, Keep Reason. that until uh, the, the, the coffin rolls out. The <laughs> Looks like that. <laughs> the the uh, hall. Hard to step down. Yeah. Why would you? Yeah, Kong King Lear tried to do it, but uh, that uh, created chaos. Yeah, the how to do the succession is yes. uh, also a tricky one. That's very hard. But... Um, so, so the trick is to, uh, you can step down, but you have to keep the key to the treasury. <coughs> yeah, or so you can't really step yeah, down. No, just you have to keep the code to the bank accounts. <laughs> so, okay, I'll leave it to you guys. You take it from here. <laughs> so then that's not <laughs> stepping down. That's just... Uh, Pretending. It's a fake. Yeah. It's a fake. Fake, fake out. Yeah. But there is a moment, uh, you know, if you give away control, there is no comeback. And I guess that's some of the moral... From or else King Lear. you're not really giving it away. No, but if you do. Yeah. He was betting that uh, one of the, his uh, years were like loyal to him. Yeah. But it, it's something it with power. Uh, yeah, the, the old saying, right? The power corrupts. Yeah, yeah, and it turns again. So uh, it turns, uh, you know, so if you give it away... Uh, I heard, but I heard uh, the other twist on that one uh, lately. That uh, what's even worse is to be powerless. That's that, the that, worst. That that, that that fucks you up more. I think. Yeah, yeah okay, power corrupts. So corrupts, like, but yeah. uh, powerlessness uh, the, the that destructs. Destruct destroys you. Yeah, I think so. But uh, from a stoic perspective, uh, you know, the only power you have is uh, the power to control yourself. And that nobody can take away from you, if you think it through. No, as long as uh, it's in your mind, they can't take it. No, no, because if you understand that and you know, take that position and uh, whatever they do, uh, I uh, at least uh, the last thing I have is uh, I can choose how I take it. Yeah. If they torture me, I can choose if I scream or not. Maybe not, but I Maybe can. You can't. Not. Maybe the screaming is not, uh, but it's uh, um, the strength of uh, the human mind or, or the will is like um, amazing. Some persons say uh, it's impossible to break them. Does it break their uh, yeah? It's inner, a choice. The inner castle, in a way, yes. It's a choice. So whatever you throw at them, they're standing there mm -hmm. of course you can kill them but uh, after that we don't know it's very hard to convince anybody about anything that's that's the, the yeah, spirit yeah, part, yeah, right? yeah yeah no i tried for like two and 30 years to convince you or 20 years to convince you and uh, of a lot of things uh, with well the success rate the success rate well, uh, so uh, people have to find out yeah, you can and we touch lead the way. That. It's the motivation, and where where in hell does that come from? You gotta show the way. You can't force force someone to do things. It's hard. It's hard. It doesn't stick. No, but reality teach you. It's the greatest teacher of all. Yeah, but yeah, of course. But uh, you mean look at what people do. What I um, I do myself sometimes. Uh, I know what reality is, and it still doesn't matter. No, you you it's you a, you, you fight against it, but uh, it, then it's gonna grab you at the end. So it's a very destructive way. Yeah, but but the, but you the, do it still. The problem with that argument is that that happens anyways. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> it's like uh, sure, but uh, you no, can live the most the, healthy uh, life in the world. You'll still you still have perish. to face the music. It everything can happen, and you have to. That's the deepest truth that uh, shit happens, uh, and you, you 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 cannot control it. 
So exactly. the only thing you can control, if you can control anything, is uh, your own reactions, your own mind, uh, your own inner uh, inner life. Mm -hmm. uh, that you can work with. And uh, if you do that, uh, you can meet whatever happens in a way uh, and not escape from it. <coughs> because when things happen uh, and it's not your, what you want, um, okay, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, you can escape from it, you can scream, you can say it's unfair, I'm a victim, uh, and you can sing all these songs. Do it help? Mm. Yeah. No. 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 I tried, uh, you know, lived a long life to try to, to change the, the reality, to change you, to change everybody around me so they fit into my ideas and how I think should things should be. Mm -hmm. And since I'm a tyrant with some power, I had some success, you can say. Uh, it's not a success, but I, I managed to push people a little around yeah. uh, to make them, you know, fit into my... Uh, way of seeing things uh but uh it it lasts maybe some minutes and then it's, it's not very effective oh you don't have that uh, no. you know the only way you can uh, create uh, because it's all about creation it's uh, uh you have to tap into people's motivation yeah and they're very voluntary uh, you know that they, they are on board not because they're forced but because they want you gotta be inspired yep and then you can create, but then you also have to have the flexibility to 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 listen or or accept that people have some opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a hard thing. <laughs> Especially, yeah, <laughs> people the tyrant have, tend to not care <laughs> too much for others' opinion. No, opinions that's, is very annoying. That's that, that's always the downfall <laughs> of the tyrant too. They they <laughs> stop listening. Yeah, and yeah. Then you're. Then uh, you're yeah, out yeah, of touch. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the good thing, you know, because that's why we can get rid of tyrants. It's, uh, yeah, they yeah. do something that everybody's like, no, we can't okay. do this no, no more. No, no, no. He, 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 we have enough of that guy. So, uh, <laughs> but, but, yeah. um, it's a different, uh, different animal. No, so we can. So, how to challenge the tyrant? How to give him some uh, tasks that uh, you know can? Yeah, uh, we'll talk about that a bit today. Shape and, uh, his reality. I've been uh, thinking about it for a while, and it's not not an easy task to to um, to challenge the tyrant. There's a there's some risk involved. You know, you got to be careful. Yeah, uh, you, you don't do a coup. Like just uh, on a whim, you need to plan this, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, and get some <laughs> calculate the risks and, and get some officers your, uh, with you. Have yeah. your allies yeah. in hand. So there's a yeah. lot of planning involved. Yeah, I, I, um, I see that. So uh, and it's a very um, new experience for like the sun trying to. To say to the father how how to do things, or how to do try to do things, right? A challenge. It's normally the other way. Yeah, yeah, but I I think that one thing is to tell uh, uh, you know what to do or not to do. Uh, what I'm more interested in is like um, how you see things and what you can bring to the table that you think that um, forget about this uh, tyrant metaphor but what you think i can can you know grow on and or or have some potential <laughs> to 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 be a better person or to be more contributing or something like um what what we are after here in in this journey to you know to to grow and to be able to to give something back to to community or society or which level you you want to put the exactly the others and i think uh there is um there are some uh 
tips and tricks in life that can make uh, make uh, interaction how to interact with other people more uh, put in uh, put it in the male way more effective so you actually spend less time dealing with people you don't kind of like to deal with how to do it in a better way um, yeah i think there is a, yeah you have something to work on there because I th- in my in my in my humble opinion um if you don't uh, seem to enjoy people or respect them or whatever reason you try to just get it over as fast as possible by maybe like more dismissing dismissing them somehow or ignoring them or yeah some somehow somehow get it done quickly get out of it get it get out of the situation yeah. as fast as possible and uh, why you do that uh, I'm, i don't know but from the outside i can uh, i always see that in my life that you have uh, if you find someone uncomfortable or not worthy maybe you just want to get out and in the process you do it in a very rude way rude or very like uh, brute or very like harsh way and i think a lot of people uh, sense that yes and they can take it uh, many ways but many people then might end up feeling like uh, disrespected because they got brushed off in not so kindly a way right and you can yeah. brush off people in a kind way where yeah, they don't yeah, feel yeah, brushed off but it's a very uh, interesting observation and i think you are on to something and makes me you know uh, reflect a little um so uh, but if we shall work with this uh, how can we you know operate it or make it specific well my my uh, one thought i have was that uh, we could do some uh, we can do it together too though um do some uh, things that you probably haven't done in your life that's uh do some uh, voluntarily work working for no pay for someone else you don't know just and, to and, be kind and, and don't like and don't like exactly <laughs> All the uh, boxes and, <laughs> and the courts, uh, a course I don't like either. For, no, for a course I don't like exactly for uh, like for all the wrong reasons, but uh, just as a exercise. Uh, yeah, the, the, the maximum and comfortable. Uh, yeah, and the uh, situation uh, and uh, okay when, wor- when working with your uh, because you have some uh, social uh, shyness, right? And, yeah, and I think. Uh, I mean, some of it's just your personality, but other things is uh, maybe mm, how I mean, experiencing how other people see you can change that in many ways. So if you if you, they don't all the things you always had to like shelter you t- to have your. Uh, all the facade, whatever it is, right? That people usually just see. If you don't have those things, then just people see you for you. Yep. That might uh, change how you look at yourself too. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, um, I, I I I I understand, and I can see that uh, um, I have something to be, a, you know to learn or i don't want to of course um i don't like it no of course not that, um, that's expected and uh, and and, also, and that's a good sign yeah that's a good sign and also um probably the way you brush off other people is also a way you talk to yourself and that's the deep thing of it, right? So if you can change how you speak to yourself, not only will you change how you speak to others, but you would improve your own well-being in many ways. 
I don't know how your inner monologue is, but I would bet it's pretty harsh at times. You're not being very kind to yourself. No, uh, of, of course. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's impossible to be a tyrant and be a, like a very nice, uh, <laughs> cuddling person to yourself. Yeah, inside. probably not. <laughs> not easy. I, I don't think. Don't go together. No, I don't think so. No. So that that's the tragedy of that role. Uh, so and, and that's uh, that's what it is. It's yes. a role. Yes, it is. In many ways, that's exactly what it is. So yeah. it's um, it's, it's a how do one sp- the inner talk or the inner monologue is so powerful in in our lives, and it if you're not aware, it kind of just goes there in, in the background. But it's specific things we tell ourselves. And those things can actually be uh, also changed in how we how we do this. I heard some, uh, listened to a podcast, and this guy had, a, I think it was this Jacko had a podcast, and he had a guest that we, he was, uh, he had uh, in his own uh, words the, the like the most horrific inner monologue. He was always, if he didn't do things to perfection. He was uh, beating himself up yeah. all the time, like saying the worst things to himself. Yeah, and then also to the surroundings, of course. And, and that bleeds out. So yeah. he was very angry. He told people off, and it all came down to him, his own self-talk. Yep. And uh, he said that uh, he uh, his challenge he was that uh, he had to, for like a period of time, write all the things he said down. Yes. And then uh, send it to his therapist. Yes. So, so he put it had to put it down in words. Yes. And I was just to make him aware. Yeah. And then he had to s- start to say, okay, say this thing happened. How would you say this if it was your friend, your best friend did this? Yes. How would you phrase this? Yes. So we had, because you had then you have to say it differently. And, and then um, immediately you would put it differently. You yeah. would say, Ah, oh, yeah, I see you. Ah, oh, yeah, you, cr- you crashed your car, but uh, yeah, you were probably had a bad day, and you wouldn't focusing. And it was not like this. Oh my God, no. you're the worst. So that self talk. Yes. And I think uh, I have it too. Everybody has this, uh, where you kind of beat yourself down, and that bleeds out in yeah. uh, everyday life, because can't contain this negative. Uh, and this is a lot of critical thought. It can be just destructive. No, I think that's very, you know, um, uh, to the point or important. Uh, it's uh, to be harsh uh, on yourself uh, and, you know, discipline, will, like, uh, it, it is, it's this. Uh, This concept of controlling yourself uh, can be done in different manners. And I think that my self-control is can very much be driven by a negative story. Yeah. And that is not... R- that's that what you're pointing on. Not actually uh, a good thing. You're running away from something, not of towards... Course. Yes. Something, maybe. Yeah, and uh, and and that type of discipline uh, could also be, uh, as you say, uh, an escape. Yeah, and this is the maybe the tricky part is that since you have landed on those uh, habits, yes, and they are uh, deemed or seemed from the outside by society as a very positive thing. It doesn't come uh, become that clear that uh, your actions are actually running away. It seems always oh, working out. It's good. It's like working hard. It's good. Yeah, but but that that's a tricky one because there is something good in it. Obviously, and and that's the dilemma, right? Yep. No, but so, uh, I think that uh, the challenge, uh, if I understand it, is like. To change perspective on yourself uh, and yes. these things that I I do that uh, that I seek uh, you know challenges I am able and willing to uh, 
to take pain and to do my workout and to get up early and all this, uh, you know, very military like uh, stuff. I don't, it's not a challenge to stop doing uh, those things. No. no by no means. It's more a challenge of uh, changing the inner monologue or why you do it. Yeah. Not, not change the thing in in of itself. I don't uh, think you I, will I think stop. The, I think the the reason I do it is a uh, couple of motivations that are good. Um, I because <coughs> it, it it's it's a way of uh, of uh, managing my energy. Yes both keeping it up but also to uh, uh, it's hard for me to you know sit here and and, and, and you know have some sort of a scorecard of uh, of myself but i i feel that I, I, i've changed uh, and i'm more able to control my anger mm -hmm. you know more uh, because <coughs> I've been very easily irritated, and you—you you were touching about that the way I brush off people, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and I think I, I, I changed a little. Uh, I had this uh, birthday party a, a year or two ago mm -hmm. with some friends, and many of them were like, "Okay, uh, Eric, uh, you become such a much nicer person, and it's easier to relate to you." And you know all no. this ki kind of praising mm -hmm. and uh, then one of my oldest friends said uh, come on guys uh, there's no improvement here it's just uh, you know his uh, level of testosterone is gone down so yeah. it's just the natural gets softer so don't give that fucker any credit, <laughs> no, no credit. <laughs> he's the same bastard but that, so, maybe, yeah. but that uh, maybe reflects your inner monologue too yeah. a little bit yeah, that that, story, that that story that's sticks. That's how you. That's yeah. the story you tell yourself. Yeah, that story sticks. Because I heard you say that a couple of times. And, yes. uh, you don't want to. I don't think you give yourself credit either for. No. Because you have become more. Uh, more. Uh, what do you say? What shall you say? Like uh, pleasant to be around. There's yes. less. Less sudden burst of anger or. Yeah. Uh, you gotta not be so careful. Yeah. No. Yeah. How like uh, and that that's uh, you know I was growing up with this and uh, you had to be like uh, pay attention. Yeah. Because some days it took you very little to to get the explosion not, in, not fun in to your be face. Told off. No. Um, but I think this is a uh, the, the challenge is a is a great one and I think everybody has a. Yeah, unless you're Buddha or something, you have this challenge in your life. And it's to not necessarily improve how you deal with other people. That's a side effect. But improve how you deal with yourself. How you talk to yourself, how you treat yourself, how you disrespect yourself. Yeah, all but, these but, things. but, uh, but uh, the, the way to do it is like if you, as you are... are um, uh, pointing out or tr or try to give me a task, uh, uh, and of course, uh, if if the, the the goal is that uh, which I preach very very much uh, um, that you can you know teach me or or help me uh, to have a more positive self talk. Mm -hmm. uh, you can train by uh, how you treat uh, people or situations. And then yeah, that's the only way to yeah, see it, back. right? Uh, yeah, Just that's the only way for thoughts. you other guys. Uh, yeah, I can tell your thoughts. See, because if I still, you know, uh, treat people not so good, and I say that, I, oh, but I've changed my self thoughts. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, probably I have a very positive. Uh, I'm so positive. Like. <laughs> I'm so positive inside. No, it's all, it's, it's all it's going well. It's like, like fluffy clouds. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, I tap my shoulder every day. I'm, yeah. I'm so good, and I'm, you know. So I I, I, I I grasp that, and I think that uh, you have to find it and be specific with it. And 
Exactly. I think it's tasked. There's some specific things that can be done, and yes. uh, it's uh, can have a very good benefit. Yes. Because uh, an untrained mind just goes on and on and on, and but if you turn this, uh, your um, your knack at uh, being disciplined in the outside world, yeah, you can use that uh, that ability to also train your. Uh, Train your mind. Yep. Train your uh, how you think, and especially how you think about yourself. Um, and then you can start stop controlling your anger and just let it, letting go of the anger. Not be angry. It's a uh, way easier than <laughs> controlling things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. It's uh, b- just but, uh, let it go. <laughs> like yeah, kind of thing, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then try to to because uh, it's it's. The foundation of this uh, way of seeing is it like uh, um, emotions will always happen inside you. They start there. Yes. Uh, and uh, instead of controlling them, suppressing them, or uh, acting them out, mm-hmm. uh, you can, in a way, sit with them and feel them f- fully out and, uh, and, and uh, accept them as they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's that's hard, but I think that's the way to grow. I think so too. Uh, and, and then, of course, uh, if you train yourself and and meet reality or meet situations that you don't like, yeah, or that's really challenging you some fi- some feelings and that you don't like. Uh, and that's a way to 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 learn to to live with it. it. It is this is also very you know accepted method in trying to heal people from depression, anxiety. It's the only one that we know works yeah. basically. Yeah, different. Sure. If you're scared of things, uh, you should meet it in a way. Yeah, voluntarily exposure. Voluntarily exposure. That's the only <laughs> thing. Yeah. So uh, I'm or drugs <laughs> or drugs or a combination. A combination. No. So uh, I go for the drug. Uh, option. The is that still option. on the table? That's still on the table, <laughs> always. Uh, no. Um, and I think like the uh, the end goal of any such thing is to to be able to forgive forgive yourself for whatever has happened. Yep. But you kind of stuck stuck in the loop in how I am and how I perceive myself. It's the forgiveness part. Because you can change it. Yeah, and then the forgiveness never... part is, uh, is you know, also a part of creating uh, inner freedom. Yeah, letting go. It's what, it's what it is. Yes. Um, it's an inner freedom. And if you, uh, now that you enjoy such, uh, uh, in many, I mean, from um, many people's point of view, you enjoy a great amount of outer freedom yep. in your life you have uh, you basically do whatever you want yep. in many ways and you have the discipline to do the things you have to do right like working out so there's so many things um so now it's time to do the the hard hard work which is uh, to get uh, Shit. inner peace uh, namaste is it possible to, <laughs> to, 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 to to and what do you do like you meditate and i think you've always been brushing up on this in your life you've been ex- trying out this uh like meditation and uh, al- like alternative ways of doing things i don't know how much passion you had about it but well uh yes uh i, I guess this is like because it's something you you want to change yeah uh, and uh, that the willingness of letting go, which is something you're talking about now, mm-hmm. uh, and you have to sacrifice something. You have, in a way, to sacrifice uh, the way you think, or yeah, so in a way, that's the your ego death. Yeah, yeah, in many ways, yeah. you have to let that go. It hurts, and of course, that's been uh, uh, my ego. Is like uh, it, it's a hard task because it's so so hammered and so yeah it's a very like a defense oriented yeah and so ways. And it's a very sneaky guy so he has a lot of tricks and uh, he knows how to yeah. 
play. experienced play player. This game. Yes. Yeah. Really hard sure. to take out. Sure. Yeah. So uh, I'm very uh, curious on what you can come up with, which on on a specific part, and we'll, then, uh, we'll do some specifics for sure. Um, and I'm I'm gonna do this do do the same things, of course. Yeah, we can um, do it together. It's a, uh, it's a, that's a good thing. That's what we've done with the training thing, and, and uh, so it has some, uh, uh, you know, uh, eternal value. That just to do it together, it's like yeah, you don't want to just issue some uh, challenges, and you don't have to do it yourself because then you can get pretty wild. <laughs> it's like jump, jump. Yeah, up it, it's a different way. It's the you you, you know. Uh, in in a lot of traditions, uh, the master gives uh, gives the student, you know, some really harsh uh, tasks. <coughs> sure, because uh, the student need it, and and I guess uh, the master has been through it. Uh, if not, then it's himself. an issue. Yeah, yeah, uh, and therefore he doesn't need to do it together with the student. And they have done it before. Yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, here, maybe both of us are in, the, in, in unknown territory, so... Yeah, I think so. And you can do it together. I think it's always good to do it together anyway. So, but, uh, yeah. I see you uh, like the picture with the master student. Yes. But, but then they have a... But here is the student master, it's, it's, it's revolving. It's like a yeah, I'm not, revolving I'm not door. Claiming, claiming to be a master in this at all. No, um, and so here we're both students then. And I think it's um, it's um, I think I in myself and you and in most people that's where you have the most pos potential for improvement. It's it's the mind, the mind game. You can work out and all that; it's great. But how you perceive the world and how you act in it—it's what's going to shape the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I am on board totally. So. Uh, uh, I'm just uh, trying to prepare me for what's coming, and uh, we'll do something. Embrace that's, it. Uh, it's manageable. It's going to be a challenge, but I think we'll. Uh, I'm going to still uh, figure out the specifics, and then we we'll see how to to make it happen. And then we'll uh, do it for six weeks, and we'll see how we feel. Yeah, and no, I I think the six week thing is a good thing, and. Uh, about the six weeks, you are deep into the training. Do you think it's going to stick? Do you think your six-week theory is? Uh, I think that's pretty solid. Yes. Um, I think maybe you can do it even even less, but um, I don't see myself. Uh, I haven't been forcing myself no. either. No, because they. The obvious upside of um, working out every day or every weekday—it's mm -hmm. um—it's not, it's not like I can't tell. So, so the weekends have uh, really got a new value now because that's resting sleep. days. <laughs> sleep, <laughs> sleep some more. Yeah, I, I slept uh -huh. twelve hours yesterday. Yeah. But, but I, I think that's a phase that uh, when I start to get in more like a better shape, yes. the, I'll get less tired. I, I, yeah, I think so. So, or yeah. else I have to just. But but you you uh, have always had this capacity for sleeping. I remember when you, uh, uh, it was at, I think you uh, with the whole class. Uh, there was a trip uh, to the mountains, and we took the train, and uh, you were able to sleep. In the train, even you had a you know a bad seat and people were jumping all around you and everything. <laughs> Just sleeping. You slept. Yeah. So that's uh, you can, a good I soldier. That I can, can sleep you know, anywhere. S sleep when you can. Yeah, I think it's twofold. It's one thing that you sleep when you can. The other thing is that uh, you're not worried what happens when you sleep. Yeah. Because there if you jump, it, you. So you need somebody, but that we've been through the personality test that we uh, we're not the, these super nervous types, neither of us. No, we th I think we both have the belief, true or not, that if something happens, we can jump up and uh, defend yes. ourselves. Yeah, maybe it might not be true, but no. as long as you believe it, yeah, it works, it counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For so sure. That, 
So that's uh, an yeah, important thing. It's very important. So now I will, uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, cobble together some, uh, some good tasks for us to do. And, uh, and that's, that's really painful. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm a little high now, so go for the ultimate pain. Ultimate pain. Yes. <laughs> go for the worst. Go for the worst. <laughs> the worst of the options. No, I think actually first um, we'll do the... Just have to... Uh, um, I'll, and I'll do the same. R write down our... Uh, try to do like uh, document our inner monologue. Yes. And we'll do that for a couple of weeks. Just, uh, I mean, you can't do it all the time, every day, but um, say you have some, something happens and you have a, like a series of thoughts, gotta put them down. Like I didn't, yeah, mostly the negative things, right? If you're happy about it, I don't care. Say something happened at work or at home, and you're like, yeah, now I got upset. There's usually some thoughts there to put them down on paper. And then we can, um, and you have to, and then you can see mine and I'll see yours. You so got to share them. The in your dialogue, it. you have to um, journal. Because this is has a journal of. Yeah, because just have to, or you can do it someone else. So just sharing it makes it uh, clear. Yeah, yeah, this is the yeah, yeah, writing and, and, and then, uh, you know, talking about it. But now, I, I think that's... Uh, to start to visualize. Yeah, yeah. And then I think after uh, doing that for a couple of weeks, uh, we uh, uh, we can uh, try to do some volunteer work and see how that affects. Just an hour. Yeah, yeah, you ju week. just come with the program. I haven't. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. So we're going to uh, expose ourselves quite well. We can do it next, quite, quite uh, well. the next podcast and, you know, be super specific about it. Yeah. So it's, oper it's operative and we can, you know, follow it up and s see how it goes. Yeah, I think uh, for in, in my perspective, I think that's your low-hanging fruit. And it's also something I can easily get better at. Yes. Um, because I can sense it myself too and I think I have this uh, I think you have it too it's like if I uh, say uh, say um, even like with this training thing yes. um, uh, then the other people come to me and say oh so well done you so good and I'm like I don't have that thought I don't give myself the credit no. for almost anything that that other people would say this is well done. Yeah, yeah. And if someone else did it, I would tell them, oh, hey, that's really well done. Yes. Good work. Yes. But to myself, it's uh, more like, oh, I'm, I'm a more, oh, I am upset I got late. Oh, yeah, I was uh, late yeah, one day. Yeah. It was. That's what I would, f yeah, that, but that would be the focus. Yeah. Not the other four days that. But that's, uh, wasn't, that's right? how I am. But uh, that's yeah. how I look at you also. And I'm yeah, focusing on saying, that. But this is the inner monologue. Uh, uh, bleeding you, you come out, like right? every day and then one day you're oversleep and I say, oh, fuck. That's, that's the only thing. Fuck this guy. Uh, yeah, uh, it's weird. He right? doesn't manage anything. He's like it's so hopeless. <laughs> it's like you've been there. He's a loser. Yeah. And you forget that. Uh, yeah, no, I give yourself some credit and uh, some slack. Yeah, and I think uh, this is the exercise. And if you start speaking to yourself as you would just would speak to your best friend, yeah, yeah no, I you understand. Manage I understand. to change it, right? And it's I interesting because uh, just to segue, uh, but it's uh, this father and son. Uh, I, I have this. Uh, I'm very blessed, so I have this group of uh, very um, proud and able and beautiful men. Mm -hmm. So I can, we meet like uh, every month, yeah, uh, three hours, and uh, um, we speak about um, reality and uh, how we live in in the world and of course uh, uh, we speak about feelings 
not feelings in uh, you know to dare to feel and to identify that all feelings are in your body and uh, what we usually do is to try to suppress feelings or run away from them or some way or you know because uh, many of our feelings is not pleasant is super unpleasant and those unpleasant feelings, um, they are very often popping up in close relations, of course, because then you're vulnerable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to your wife, if you have one, or your uh, kids, of course, children, children and grown up. And so it's, it's circling very much around that. And, and the way we're doing it and handling it is uh, that we try to when people tell their stories because that's the way it goes everybody has some you know drama going on <coughs> yeah uh, share, sharing sharing that and uh, the rest of the group is like fucking tough because uh, they always you know push okay how do you feel about that mm. uh, do you like that feeling and of course they don't because um, and uh, you don't get away with you know telling that it's your wife is stupid or your kids doesn't behave well that because uh, that's something out there but it's focusing on how do you take it or receive it mm -hmm. emotionally and and uh, um, how do you um, deal with it uh, and mostly uh, we always circle back that you try to get rid of it uh you don't like it and you have all these strategies around solutions how to get rid of it and most of them is how can you rearrange reality or get people to do things and very much of what we are talking about is uh, this father and son or father and child there are all fathers we are like eight eight, eight guys seven eight Mm -hmm. and it's the same story and uh, but one is the more deeper thing that we are doing here also and uh, that is like the essence of what we're doing in the group but another reflection is that it's much more complicated now in the modern times yep. because uh, the platform you have as a father uh, um, there is the f modern family situation, the modern work life, uh, the education system, the kindergarten, everything. It's you're not that much together with your children. No. And, so and there's a lot of forces that's uh, you know uh, shaping them. Mm -hmm. uh, and the state, that's at least in Norway, they are inside your home. Yeah, practically. Practically, because it's it's you're obliged to send your kids to the school, right? Yes. I think it's the first nine years, by law. By law. And if you don't do it, uh, they come on your door. Yeah, if you don't comply, they can uh, deem you unworthy and take your it, children and away. And they do. And they do. Uh, even if you would like say okay for my child I can see that he or she let's say he because we are in the father son is better off uh, working or being with me or doing other stuff uh, because I with the, the close look at him and with the love and with everything <laughs> I have can see that that is something I believe in and something I can stand back and something I want to throw uh, resources and time into. Mm -hmm. Not legal. Of course, you, there are some loopholes. If you're, uh, you know, qualified as a teacher and create a program, I think you... You, you can probably do homeschooling. Yeah. So, so in the, what you're saying is that, uh, if I get it right, it's like the state has, uh, in its attempt to uh, to reduce the negative negative um, or the the less good parents doing damage yes they also have removed the positive yeah, from yeah, some yeah. parents yeah, 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 that yeah. they can't 
can teach your children really anymore. No, and 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 and, and we accept uh, that the state can come in. Yeah, we had agreed on that bargain. Yes, for uh, for some children to not experience living in a home that's uh, destructive. Yes, the constructive homes will have less of an impact. Yep, you got to send your children away. Yeah, so you you accepted that, uh, and, and and that's the that's the slow process uh, towards. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and freedom again. It's like that we are accepting that the state are taking control of a lot of things to protect the vulnerable, which we buy and which is a good thing. But the consequence is that the room and and the room to move is like smaller like and smaller. And how you protect some children, but then what? They go to a foster home. Yeah, Sometimes uh, it's not really, and you take them too no. much. Um, most of the time, I think it's worse. Uh, yeah, sometimes it probably works, but th- no, it's, it's not worse. like hundred percent success rate here. No, not at all. This, uh, no, and, and you forget them, and you don't measure it, and uh, then they just became become clients, and uh, in a way, they are like uh, the raw material for the welfare state, because then you really have a good client. Very vulnerable. Yes. And it goes so, so that there. was a reflection about the modern role. Uh, we are talking from a Norwegian perspective, of course, and it's uh, different in different countries. I think it's a uh, lot of similarities in the West, Western world, uh, generally. This, uh, yeah, but you had some cases attitudes. in Norway with uh, with uh, Polish uh, immigrants, yeah, which are they are Catholic and more family oriented. And these uh, rules and laws in Norway, where the state can come in and take your kid, yeah. for them they like shocking yeah, that yeah. they can do it on such weak, uh, so low, so you you know, um, doesn't allegations. take much. No, necessarily. No. no, and it's about allegations, and then somebody from the state are coming in, making uh, a judgment, making judgment. Yes, and who in fuck are those people? They've gone yeah, three years. Yeah, they can be wrong too. Yeah, and who is seeking a job like that? That's a good question. That you can be like uh, a judge uh, over people's lives. Well, you have to be. That's your yeah. job. So but you can say they seek that uh, out of good uh, motivation that they want to help. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe they uh, have some, uh, are, uh, you know, uh, find that, power position attractive well so uh, you have a lot of power you have a lot of power yeah that's it's a dark topic and uh, of course taking away people's children is probably the worst one of the worst things you can do to anyone but the, what st- struck me uh, in, in in the group uh, is uh, when we talked about this is nobody's really reflecting on the facts that the state is so deep into our private life no they talk about it as uh, like it's a yeah of course it's a reality but it's like uh, okay it's like and that's that's the challenge uh, because it's a horrible reality if you start thinking about it you are not really that free or uh, uh, you don't have as much choice as you'll probably like yeah but my perspective is another one that such smart and uh, educated and reflected and you know uh, truth-seeking guys Mm -hmm. uh, in a way are uh, primed or whatever to accept it Mm -hmm. and they don't challenging it and they don't reflect on it they talk about it as if it's like super normal that some institute from the school are calling you into a meeting uh, and uh, discussing uh, on uh, some random information and they don't know shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, the system is now that they can, you know, play, and s- especially also because the uh, divorce rate is so high. Yes. And when people divorce, they very often end up fighting through the child. Yes. So, and then they use this these institutes in the state to play with them because they think if I can play with them and get something happening here that the other person, the father or the mother, 
both can play that game, mm-hmm. uh, can be heard. Yeah. Uh, and then they create cases with the child or through the child, yeah. and they have these institutes to play on. And that is bad shit. And it's going on on a daily basis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so that's something that's uh, in the culture we live in that uh, father, son, or children, uh, or parenting more complicated. Yes, very much so. You suddenly, yeah, very and, and then you just risk. then you just drift away and 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 you land in a situation where you don't have much uh, green to play on. It's very hard. Because what shall you do? Okay, you okay. Uh, you can talk to your child uh, and say you have to do this and that, but that doesn't really stick because you cannot work with them on a daily basis. You cannot spend time with them. And what shall you learn them? You can learn them some moral things or some rules, but we're not learning them any trade or any you know basic stuffs. So that sports is a good thing something or do no, things with lo- them you lost uh, some of this is, uh, lost in time yeah for now yeah so you don't do this so much and um, but we also lost a little bit of the father father role right it's been uh, minimized yeah a lot a lot and uh, but i heard as uh, um, i'm you know i'm always listening to podcasts um, and uh your I podcast heard. addict, uh, addict. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a, it's a. Some of them is a very good way of learning things. Yes, and if it wasn't, I think it's just a convenient format. But and it's a lot of noise. It's not always depends. Singles. But then you shouldn't listen to those. No. It's like bad books. Yes, but the point there that was that um, the role of a father in in uh, humans first of all it's uh, very rare among mammals just 10 percent do it 90 percent of the mammals don't have a active father no they just leave they make the child and they leave and none of the other primates have it none of them they don't have an active father role and um the reason why was that um, we hit uh, a point in the human evolution like uh, 800 years ago, 800,000 years ago, um, where uh, the success rate of children growing up was going, going down, down. Yes. lower and lower because uh, our brain got bigger and bigger. Yes. And the solution to the bigger brain was that the babies got... Uh, born earlier and earlier premature yes so like when a human child is born they're tremendously premature yes compared to uh, any other mammal or chimp yeah they, they need uh, super protection in yeah, for years yes in theory they could be in the bomb three years if they yeah, could like come a, out like, like an like elephant uh, yes. they could probably and they also said that probably the if you asked how long the that period should be for a human. It's yes. probably two to three years. Yes. But we do it in nine months. Yes. And then the solution was that uh, since uh, all these children are not surviving, the nature's solution was we got to involve the father yes. in, in being active in protection and uh, nourishing. nourishing and uh, training. Teaching, training, yes. And that's why... Um, the father role, which is a different role, is so important in training a human. Mm. And if you remove it, you lose out uh, on the key key parts of uh, the upbringing of a child, or for life, that matter. Yep. You need those things. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, he we kind of lost it a little bit in our society because we pretend it's first of all we pretend it's not important and we pretend that we can do without yes you just need someone 
And, and, and we also put a negative moral on, on the fatherly teaching because yeah. some of it is to expose you for danger. It's yeah, to it's learn you to stand to in the wind. Which uh, is probably yeah. more really important to, it's to, super important. to everything. Yeah. And um, now we pay the consequence of, um, I don't know, in Norway we've been doing this for, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 years? Yeah, two generations, three gen I think after the Second World War, 45, it started. Started. And it's been ex earnest. accelerating on the, you know, exponential curve. Yeah, so now if you have a kindergarten, you have daycare, you have school. Uh, the rule now is that uh, um, you leave your child when it's one year to, to the... Uh, strangers. Yeah. Then it's, it's kindergarten, uh, eight hours, often ten hours, uh, and then it's schooling after that. <coughs> and, and there we go. That's like you said about the group. They don't, since everybody been through it, it doesn't. It's so hard to to tell what's uh, been going on because you don't have someone uh, else that grew up totally differently. No, no, no. To, to compare, there's nobody to it's compare. Uniform. And that's the same with us. There's, I don't know anyone who didn't go to school, go to kindergarten, all these things. Nobody. So how how am I supposed to know? Yeah. What what I miss? I can't tell. No, but I, I, clearly I, 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 there's missing something. Yeah, and it it pops out, and we can talk a lot about that, and all about the, this, uh, you know, um, things that don't don't work so well for for humans. Uh, especially <coughs> the new generations uh, uh, because um, it's all about um, pleasure and comfort yeah. and entertainment mm. to this uh, the most scattered brain to it's steal, a natural steal its thing attention. To do. And uh, all this is monetized in a strange way. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're all slaves some sort of of some sort and of course uh, if people remind you of that you get very upset so you don't want to hear it no first first couple of times that's yeah. uh, very uncomfortable but there are always some fuckers that uh, see it and say it yeah and a lot of those that say that we are slaves and screaming are you know crazy people that uh Oh yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but I think uh, some craziness is uh, what's changed the world also to the better. Yeah. Well, you did the the crazy part uh, is that you run a personal high personal risk for a very low reward for yeah. yourself, yeah. and that seems crazy. That seems crazy. But it's All totally profits, necessary. Everybody is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, that Sukrasis was crazy by their <laughs> own like risk assessment, like yeah. game theory. You are insane. So all the normal people we forget and uh, history uh, just consume them. But some of the crazy guys are standing there, still shining, yeah, still teaching us something. Yeah, learn yourself. <laughs> so I guess that's the, know the reward. Know yourself. Possible. So that's the quest we're gonna do now. That uh, we shall know ourselves a little better and maybe be yes. nicer to that's ourselves. Yeah, we are kind of ending next week the first challenge. Yes. Um, I don't think we're ending the practice of it, no. but we end the challenge. Yes. And then we start to enter into a new challenge. And that's going to be interesting. So I really look forward to, I don't look forward to it, no. but I look forward to it, uh, to that you operational, operational. Oh, that, my English is uh, lost today. It's so therefore we say, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Take care. Bye.